Today we will discuss the free fall motion without air friction. What I mean by without air friction is that we assume that the motion of the object is only influenced by the acceleration due to the gravity. Now I'd like you to watch a clip from YouTube illustrate how an Apollo 15 astronaut dropped a hammer and a feather on the moon. Of course you can always find it on YouTube by typing Apollo 15 hammer feather. This demonstration shows that regardless their masses, these two objects will be moving under the same effect, gravity of the moon, because there is no friction. Back to the 17th century, according to the legend, Galileo climbed up to the balcony of Pisa Tower because he wanted to verify that two objects with different masses will hit the ground at the same time. People who were watching him observed that the objects hit the ground at the same time, regardless their masses. Now you can also do the similar thing by dropping the two objects which have the different masses. You will see that they will hit the ground at the same time. But if you observe closely, you will see that in every second, the object moves farther and farther. Why that happens? The object that has been dropped for a certain height will be attracted by the gravity. Therefore, the motion will be accelerated by a gravitational acceleration, or we simply call it g. The value of g on the surface of the Earth is around 9.8 meter per second square, or we can use 10 meter per second square if we like to simplify our calculation. Therefore, every object on the Earth will feel the same gravitational effect when they fall to the ground or jump in the air. Now, how do we create such a condition so that the light mass like a feather or leaf will fall as quick as the other heavier object on the Earth? Well, let us now watch this clip titled 100 Great Discoveries in Physics by Discovery Channel. Of course, you can also watch this clip from YouTube. Does ...where Aristotle thought that objects with different masses would fall at different rates, which seems reasonable. It seemed very reasonable because all of the um, history that people had with objects of different masses falling at different rates. For example, if you have a feather and a ping pong ball, both fairly light objects, but they will fall at different rates. Oh, yes. To illustrate the difference between two objects that are roughly the same size and shape, but obviously very different masses, is a golf ball and a ping pong ball. And if we drop those, they do drop at the same rate. 
Through Galileo's experiment, he found that a heavier object seems to fall faster than a lighter one because of air resistance. Air resistance slows a lighter object more than a heavier one. The other way we do it is if we shield the experiment, which we can simulate with this leaf, from the effects of air, then they will drop at the same rate. I hope you get the idea that friction does very different thing to the motion of the object. Fortunately, we do not include the friction in our discussion. So our free fall motion here is only influenced by the gravity.